Good morning, beautiful people. This is your girl T from God Will Deliver Ministries. G.W.Deliver2020 at gmail.com. Thank you for everyone that is um, listening to this message. Um, those who have shared this message, even to those who have donated, thank you so much. But let me just tell you this God word is free. God just use me. I am a servant of Christ. And as He give it to me, I give it to you. Um, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, forgive us for everything the accuser of the brethren has accused us of before your throne day and night. God, we repent. God, we repent for stealing people's words, God, act, act, acting like it was ours, God. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God. Now that we know, God, forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. God, we come before your throne of grief grace, God, before the courtroom of heaven. God, asking that you dismiss all charges, God. We are guilty, God. We are guilty. We are guilty. But I thank you, God, for reconciling us back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, I wanted to talk about, um, I want y'all to go watch the Tiffany Montgomery um, video when she talks about plagiarism. Guys, that thing blew my mind. I'm going to give you what she said. And then I'm going to give you the interpretation of what the Lord gave me to give to you. So that you can have a better understanding of even what the Lord gave her. Right? Go watch her video. You know when I... I don't know how to tag a video under my video so you could just tag it and go right to it all i know how to do is post videos and I, I since i've been doing that my daughter showed me how to do that part i don't know how to tag however i will say excuse me the person name so you could go watch the video she just did it not too long ago right and she was talking about plagiarism um how the false prophets not uh, how people right? Just take people's words and they take it and make it as their own. As, and, and word from word as if God gave it to them. And I'm not saying that God can't give you people or similar, similar, similar revelations of things. But when you begin to word from word of a person um and you know you're doing it word from word of a person um, because you're trying to gain likes or you're trying to to gain um, views or something like, like that. Let me explain. I'm going to explain to you the danger of this that blew my mind. Who would have thought, right? So she began to talk about how people, when God give her things, um, how people will basically watch watch her video and then they will go do a video and then they will talk about what she said for, verbatim, right? They, they would do that. Let me give you an example, right? So remember when I did the video of um, before COVID came, I told you that the Lord showed me that something was coming and that COVID worked that the, the I don't even know what what is the 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 name that you say it because I don't want this to be taken down the the thing okay yeah I don't said it but y'all know what I was talking about right when it was to come and I told you my dream of when God showed me how I was sitting in a car it was a convertible red car and how I was sitting at like um in this parking lot I was sitting in this parking lot just say like if it was a parking lot like a Walmart or a, a Target or something like that and and it had to be like it was a nice day and people was just going shopping and it was so many people going in there but I was literally sitting in a car and my daughter was sitting on the driver's side I was sitting on the passenger side and I looked up in the sky right and far off it looked like a little dot that was in the sky but I seen it coming down and I I seen it getting bigger and bigger whatever this thing was and as it started getting closer it was going like this woo, woo. 
it was a dragon. It was a dragon in the sky. And when the dragon came down, the head was so big. It was bigger than my car, right? And it came to the windshield of my car and it did this. It yelled. But when it yelled, I looked at it. I looked it in its eyes and then it like swooped back up in the sky. But by the time it was swooping back up in the car, um, sky, people seen it and people started to panic. So I jumped out the car and I said, don't run. Don't fear. Repent. It works on fear. It works on fear. Don't fear. Seek God. Repent. Because it works on fear. The Lord basically, a year later, that's when the, the C thing hit, right? So plagiarism would be, you tell what God gave me exact word from word. You were sitting in a red car. You seen what was coming out of the sky. Or even just say this is also plagiarism. Um, I told you that it was a dragon. You say that it was a snake. Your car was blue. But it was the you jumped out the car and you said all these things to the people. Plagiarism. Guys, plagiarism. Now, if a person um how she was explaining it is you can say what somebody said. Nobody is not saying that. But if you tell my dream or if you say something that she said, say who said it. I'm telling you, I'm inspired by this video because I watched the Tiffany Montgomery video when she talked about plagiarism. She she talked about this. She even gave this scripture, guys, blew my mind. And the scripture is um, Jeremiah 23 and 30. And this scripture, go read it for yourself. I promise you it's in your Bible if you didn't tear it out. The Lord is saying this. It says, therefore declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who steal from one another words supposedly from me. I promise you it's in there. Guys, let me just tell you this. People do things, talk about something, oh, I didn't know. You're still held accountable. How do I know? I'm glad you asked. Because the Bible says that my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Even if you don't have knowledge of it, the Bible says that you are still perishing. So even, let me let me just say we so you don't feel bad, right? Even if, if we plagiarized and we didn't know and we did that, it displeases the Lord. It don't take away because we did not know. Now, let me give you how the Lord gave it to me. When the Lord gives a prophet something, and because we're talking about Tiffany Montgomery, let me explain what she was talking about, right? When the Lord give her something, and I go say what she said, trying to say it like it was me, the substance, how the Lord gave it to her, would not be received properly by the people. Because God gave it to her so she know how to say it, when to say it, because of the source. When I say it, it may not cut you how it's supposed to because God didn't give the revelation to me. But I'm taking it as my own. Let me give you a natural. That was natural, right? You know, I say life is spiritual. So in the spirit is in the natural because the spirit of the Lord gave it to the woman of God and she tells you it's going to make you be like oh my God because guess what oh this is so good God would not God's word would not return unto him void it 
it will accomplish in the place where he sent it. So through her, the Lord sent the word. So it's going to prosper in your spirit and it's going to make you go, oh my God, Jesus Christ, help us. But let me use me so you don't feel like I'm talking about you. If I say the words that Tiffany Montgomery said, right? And I'm not saying, did y'all hear the word of the Lord that Tiffany Montgomery said? She said this, but I say it and take it as my own. In your spirit, it may not be received the same way as if the person that the Lord gave it to. I pray to God you understand. Let me put it in the natural this way. I bake a cake. The cake go worldwide. The cake is good. The Lord told me the recipe of this cake. I strategically put every ingredient in the recipe of this cake that the Lord told me. And if the Lord told me, it's going to be successful, right? The cake blow up. People eating the cake. Oh my God. You have people trying to make this cake. And people go, um, this don't taste the same. Something is missing out of the cake. Now, the cake that T, Tammy made, and she said the Lord gave it to her. That cake was, it had so much substance. Like, I can't explain the cake that Minister Tammy made. It, it was just so good. But then the person tried to do this cake because this person also said that the Lord told them to make this lemon cake and the lemon cake and it was the same vision that Minister Tammy had on how to make the cake but guys I went and got the cake and something is missing like I can't explain it it will cause a confusion it's the same way with plagiarism guys it's the same way. Let me give you another natural. When I was in grad school, right? I'm not going to even say grad school. When I started college, when I had to write a paper, right? I wrote, they was like, okay, we're going to do this paper on um, the um, African-American. This was my real paper. African-American women um, in urban areas who are living with HIV. Okay, great. That's going to be my thesis all the way up to um, grad school. So, but when I was in undergrad, my knowledge of writing a paper wasn't like how it should have been. But let me tell you how I got checked. So I wrote the paper. I was looking in encyclopedia. I was looking in papers. I was doing all this. So I wrote the paper. Boom, 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 boom. The professor had the paper, but he didn't accept the paper. He said, you didn't cite nobody. Hello? What? Hello? What do you mean, cite nobody? I wrote the paper. He said, yes, but somebody already said this. Now, let me let you know how you cite somebody when writing a paper in college. The high, a court, I'm, and I'm making up a name. So, according to Professor Deborah Hansen, 1939, she states that the high risk rate of women living in urban areas with HIV is 13%. had the site go and find the source of the person and guess what guys I could take my pick because it was many people who who originally said it that I could have cited so I'm saying to say guys stop being so sensitive when people are coming fact checking checking especially if the fact check comes from the lord let me tell you something a prophet do not entertain your flesh a prophet will will um disrupt your spirit man 
will check your spirit man, will rebuke your spirit man to do thus say of the Lord. Sidebar, let me just say this to you. If you want somebody to entertain your flesh to make you feel good, go to a psychic. And I'm not saying literally go to a psychic, but a psychic is going to keep your money, which is going to curse your money because you're paying into the demonic, into divination for a psychic, psychic to tell you, oh yeah, this man, yeah, yeah, you, you're going to marry this man. That's your husband and the man already married or the woman already married. But a real prophet of God is going to make sure your spirit is in check to call you to repentance. Guys, our goal is that when Jesus returned, that we be caught up to meet him, to judge the world with him, and to hear well done, my good and faithful servant. Okay, let me even tell let, let, let me even just say this, right? Because yes, the ultimate goal is to make it into heaven. But do you know your time could be before Jesus come back? Tomorrow is not promised. The next second is not promised. Is your soul ready to meet the maker? Or is the accuser of the brethren still accusing you because you did not repent? Guys, you don't have to take this. Don't take it lightly. Satan has it out for your soul and your mind. This is why. So one thing that I did, and I think I said this in video past. I was crying out to God and the Lord be checking me. Let me just tell you. And when people say the Lord ain't talking out much, the Lord is always talking. The problem is he who has an ear, let him hear. Are you listening? Is your ears open? Because guess what? If it's not the Lord, something is in your ear. Because if you're seeing, oh, the Lord ain't talking that much. Yes, something is in your ear telling you the Lord ain't talking that much, right? So I remember crying out to God, saying, God, I said, God, everything that's wrong is right. And everything that's right is wrong. God, how do I know which way to go? The Holy Spirit said to me, Tammy, it's easy. If the world is doing it, you're not supposed to. You want scripture? Romans 12 and 2. Be not of the world, but be ye transferred by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. A lot of times we go in around, we go around saying or feeling, "Oh, I do it, and I'm a Christian. Ain't nothing happened to me. Um, so yeah, it got to be okay." Who said? Who said? Did you? Is your mind renewed? Because let me tell you something. I would never say that it's accepted. Um, so you do it too. I don't know. What I'm going to tell you to do is I'm going to tell you to seek God. To see, see if it's acceptable to him. Because whether it's acceptable to me or not doesn't matter. I don't have a heaven or hell to put you in. So you don't take my word that it's okay. Seek God. Even in this video. Try the spirit by the word of God. Seek God, even on this video. Guys, people have sown into false prophets so much. And, and, and I have to, some of these things that I watch, I really have to laugh. Because you have these prophets um, act, acting as if they're casting out demons. Can Satan cast out Satan? That's not what I'm saying. But you have these people who have people who are on their staff to come. They'll tell them, oh, go get that person. Bring this person in the back. And then the the, the, the person that work for, work for the demonic prophet would say, look, um, we're going to give you $1,000 and this is how we want you to act. So now it's a whole um, 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 what is the word that I'm looking for? It's a whole, um, play. It's a whole performance. And 
you calling it God? When they done paid the person to act like he's demon possessed and to say, no, Papa, no, 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 Papa. Yes, Papa, Papa, please pray for me, Papa. And they done paid the person to act like that. Oh, Papa. And, and the man go, am I right? Then they go, yes, Papa, you are so right. And they paid these people. Guys. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not understanding. Our prayer should be, Lord, let me love what you love and hate what you hate. God, take the veil off of my eyes so I can see what you see. But be careful in that. Because you asking God to, you want to see what he see. And, and, and your, your spirit is not, not right. Like it, the enemy can make you lose your mind. So read your word, pray and fast, love on God. Um, the Bible said he gives to all who ask freely. Ask God and he will show you. But I know that because even me, there was time when I was going, God, give me another sign. After a a sign God got to keep showing you stuff you think oh God giving me confirmation no God rebuked you if he has to tell you again through somebody and we calling it confirmation no God rebuked you because God only got to say things one time and we should move but this is knowing the voice of God my sheep know my voice and a stranger we will not follow. The problem is strange flesh, strange fire, strange voices have been in our ears and we're calling it God and God is going, yeah, that's not me. I told you guys in video past, I even went to this church and the spirit was so high. People was jumping and they were shouting and they was crying out and I sat down because we had the minister at this church and the Lord said, that's not me. I said, God, what? These people are crying and lifting their hands and shouting. And the Lord said, that's not me. No, the second time he said, I said, that's not me. Be careful, guys. Be careful thinking you making a quick come up with these false prophets and you're sowing a seed and these prophets that created these demonic altars and you're sowing into them and you're sowing demonic division into your life and cursing your finances because yes you think it was a good deed but it wasn't a god deed because the because the bible says that the lord gives to all who acts freely so you are held accountable because you didn't ask god god is this you because you want a quick fix in, in, in finances and in health and you don't want to be called to repentance for saying God forgive me because I am a liar God forgive me because I am a fornicator God forgive me because I am an adulterer but the Bible says that we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of all our unrighteousness the Bible also says a curse without a cause cannot stand so stop giving legal right for Satan to, to curse you Repent. Repent. When you do it, repent. I'm telling you, I had my um my prayer sisters laughing because I said this girl at my job got on my nerves so bad I rolled my eyes. But who am I? I repented. Like, oh God, forgive me. God, God, take whatever this is out of my heart. Forgive me. They was cracking up, but I'm so serious because guess what? Satan is a tattletale. Guess what? And he's going to run before the throne. The Bible says he is the accuser of the brethren and he's before the throne day and night accusing the brethren. So guess what he did? God, didn't you say that our hearts, and I'm just paraphrasing, our hearts should be right and that we should have no malice in our heart? Well, Tammy got so aggravated with this girl that her heart was not right towards the girl. And she even rolled her eyes at her. God, she even went and talked about her. God, so she went against your word and she did not repent. So I can go and I can whatever, whatever. Satan is going to do. This is why it's so important 
to repent and be in your word to see what it is that is acceptable to God, what God loves, um, what, what he doesn't like, who he say can't make it in. Guys, the word is free. It's free in God's word. The problem is we don't want to open up the Bible. And then you have these prophets. I told you, um, Satan does this thing and I call it, the Bible didn't say this. I call it a truth lie, right? Um, he always try to come with a truth, but then it's a lie. He's the father of lies, right? So that's just like with these R&B artists. He said, if you sign this contract, I'm going to give you this million dollar deal. You're going to have a house. You're going to have a clothesline. You're going to do this. Just sign here and serve me. And I'm going to take care of your family. Guess what, guys? They signed. Satan produced everything that he, was, that he said that he was going to do for them. But guess what? He didn't tell them. You're mine. Your soul is mine. I'm going to bottle your soul. Now I'm going to inflict you with a manner of sickness and diseases. I'm going to um, um, torment your mind. I'm, I, I, I'm going to inflict sickness on your family member. It's a price you got to pay. It's a price you got to pay. So you feel like, oh, Satan lied to me because he didn't tell me. And then now you are in it and, and, and it appears you can't get out of it because you done renounced Christ. Let me tell you what, how the revelation that the Lord gave me where the world says the selling of your soul. The deal is this. We have a will. And our will, we can be like, mm -mm. so many people and I'm not even saying R&B artists because it's some gospel artists too that I even listen to that it make me be like, oh, yeah, the spirit behind that. You can renounce Christ. This is what the Lord told me. So the selling of the soul is the renouncing of Christ. And they made Satan their God. We have free will. But let me tell you, the word of God says that the Lord says, I laugh because their day is coming. Stop thinking you can um, handle falling into the hands of an angry God. Stop thinking you can handle it. You can't even handle when your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your job or your boss leave you. But yet you think you can handle Guys, please go watch that Tiffany Montgomery video. And if this is you, let me tell you something. I already repented. I repented for the things knowing and unknowingly. I already repented. And I told y'all, even when I was in, um, in, in, in college, how I did that paper. And I didn't even know I had to cite somebody because it was already said. I repented for that. Amongst other things, honey. And my heart just was repenting. Oh, Lord. When we, Thank you, Holy Spirit. When the Lord reveals something to you to, through a prophet, check yourself. Check your heart. See, see if it applies to you. And another thing, and I'm leaving. Another thing that God gave me, right? Gave me. When the Bible says, um, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us of our unrighteousness. In the morning, I, I, I confess my sins. God, I'm a liar. I'm a cheater. I am a adulterer. I'm a murderer. I, 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 um, I am a fornicator. Because let me tell you this. Even if you never have murdered nobody physically, you could have murdered somebody in your mind. And not only that, sir, if you have, if you have, the spirit of rage or the spirit of anger. A murdering spirit is attached to that. So you need to repent from it all. Okay? You need to repent from it all. Okay? Even if you never physically murdered somebody because that spirit is attached to rage and anger. Oh, it, if you did not repent, it would be, oh, 
but for a time that that spirit will manifest. You under, I, I pray, hear me in the spirit. I pray you understand. Re, <sighs> repent. That is the bottom line. Repent. Guys, I love you. Remember, today is a good day to have a great day in Christ Jesus. Pray, fast, repent. Get in your word. Love one another. Um, ask God to show you um, who you are holding a grudge against in your heart. I, I thought I was scot-free. The Lord revealed to me three people who I was holding hostage in my heart. And I had to call their name out and say, God, forgive me for holding your people hostage in my heart for unforgiveness. Forgive me. So yeah, if you want to know, God going to show you. Because I need to be in right standing with God. I do. I don't know about you, but I do. Guys, I love you. I pray that this video blessed you. Remember, guys, share um, comment, let me know what you think, um, and have a wonderful day.